Hi, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually uh, taking a walk here in uh, this beautiful land, which is in Apache County, in the northeastern part of Arizona. And one of the things that makes this land so beautiful is it's in escrow for me. So, about 40, 37 acres. Yeah, 37 acres of raw land and looked at quite a few different ones, but this parcel right here, um, I really liked it. And one of the reasons being is a lot of the other ones were just um, smooth or didn't have this. This one, um, with that much acreage, uh, I'm not gonna use it all, so it's plenty. And uh, there's a whole section over here which is about 14, 15 acres, which is flat, which RVs can pull in there. Gonna have a compound, gonna um, maybe put a small house, a tiny house, uh, maybe put a septic tank, we'll have solar. And my friend Ron is uh, involved with this. He's uh, gonna be kind of uh, doing his bit on here on the land. And um, we're gonna have a lot of friends come over and whatever. So it'll be kind of kind of interesting. Uh, should be a fun adventure and uh, we'll see what happens. It's so peaceful out here. It's just look around. You don't see too many homes. I mean, there's one over there and uh, the guy up there, he's the one that uh, helped us help me buy it. And uh, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of interesting. Let's take a look. Um, all right, we'll meander around. John, who's been here umpteen years, very knowledgeable, he has a garden, which he grows all sorts of things. Um, he has a bunch of fruit trees on his property. He owns like right across the way there. Um, I think, what do he say? He has 80 acres or something like that. So quite a few and he's digging it so and then right up there that's where we were and then on the other side there's a knoll which um that's where the compound's going to be a gathering outdoor kitchen maybe and fire fire ring and, and all that that's probably where the tiny house will be close by and and uh garden and all that Let's walk over here, turn you around. So look at this wash. It's a wash right now, but it's a river sometimes. It comes gushing down there. I don't get too close to that edge. I could uh, tumble down. Go down in there. There's some more tracks. Something else too, John was saying that if you're not a rock hound, you're gonna end up being one. Because there are so many different rocks here. I know this is kind of cool. Look at that. And the property line's on the other side there. You go up, I don't know how many yards. But this is all on the, the property. Got to think of a name. You know, like a, a lazy sea or something. This is kind of have an interesting little jaunt here. See the bluff up there. So I think this is like 1700 feet the property line that's to the right. See the size of those. That's a bobcat or something. I'm going to have to hook up a uh, trail cam down here. That would be cool. You can see how moist it is.
and it uh like i say it rains about a the rainiest season the monsoon season they call it, is like in august and so that'll be kind of interesting and the temperature the temperature here um typically on the average is in the mid 80s in the heat of the summer which is not too bad a lot better than the hundreds and so because it's a 6,000 feet elevation so you have all this vegetation and everything it's just so peaceful and quiet so as you can see and they're all right around 36 to 38 acres all these lots and there's a reason for that i can't remember what it was is something to do with zoning or utilities there are no utilities maybe they had to bring in utilities if they made them smaller so it suits my fancy and there's a you can't build anything within 50 feet of your property line there's an easements going so you can actually walk in between the properties all all throughout the, the ranch and it's called the High Sierra Ranch. So, would this be considered a forest? Oh, well, they have the petrified forest. There's a bunch of trees here. Haven't, I've seen a cactus, but not, not, a, not a lot of cactuses. I'm going to find out what the wildflowers are and spread a bunch of seeds. I did that up in Yosemite Lakes. Hopefully next spring they'll pop up. Oh, here's a cactus right here. Right there, see that guy? Don't think I want to step on that barefoot. No indeedy. All right, let's continue on. So one of the things I liked about this property too is it's it has a lot of a lot of pinion pines on it. And uh, these are junipers here. Let's see if we can find a pinion pine. And uh, there's a, quite a bit of wildlife. I saw a rabbit yesterday. I think I've lost. <laughs> lost on your own property. How awesome is that? See, leave here's some tracks. There's my track. These are all washes that uh, when it rains, it rained a couple days ago. And so the road here, look at all those funny tracks. Rained a couple days ago and quite a bit, so we could test out the uh the look at those. What are, don't know what those are. Um, so anyways, we could get road conditions with the, uh, the amount of rain, how accessible the roads are maintained. There is a, um, not HOA, but a POA, Property Owners Association, which then they grade the roads and they, um, maintain the wells. There's actually a well, here's a pinion pine. No, that's not a pinion pine. That's something else. Hmm. Have to check that out. So the uh, association, it's like $220 a year. And what they do is they grade the roads and um, maintain the well. And the well is free to use. Have to haul it to your property or dig a well. And I think I'm going to look into digging a well, but it's pretty expensive. I got to do a cost analysis and first things first. Oh, here's one of the waterfalls right here. Check this out. The, the wash comes all the way down here and then it'll come streaming over here in the, uh, with the rain 
here's another one definitely got to check that out when it's flowing although even look at that <laughs> that's gonna be a, that's one of the things I love about this property is it has a lot of unique features and just interesting it's just some properties that we looked at were just flat some without a view this one does have a view quite a bit of view and let's look over here the ground's really moist right now and there's some grasslands we could raise some cattle put chickens all sorts of different options pretty cool and I know the property line where that goes down to the gully and there's a wash will go down there and where it goes back up it's like 20 feet um, in elevation from the bottom so I'm not sure how far back that goes so that's from the, the map I was able to determine that let's just head on down there so anyways we'll see what uh, what inspires and just to walk around the property is good exercise and everybody's welcome to come visit uh, it's of course it's off grid and there's no amenities here so you got to bring your own PB and J and uh, be working just amazing at the rocks all the different colors I don't know very much about rocks there's a lot of them here. You get a swing shot. Okay, I think I'm going in the right direction. We'll see. So far enough I hit the road. And I'll take a left. You know, come to the driveway. Another plus. They actually uh with a driveway put in here. Um so I could drive the RV in tomorrow if I wanted. And just do some boondocking, but I don't it's still an escrow, so it's not mine yet so the driveway is definitely a plus it, it's been looks like it's been years since it's been used so it needs to be like mowed or weed whacked or something or pretty much just driven on another Pinion pine. There's a lot of grass. I'm told for about 22 hours it's like bright green, emerald. And uh, I'd like to be here at that time and uh, see what happens. Okay, here's some cow. So they cruise on through, give you a little fertilizer. this little Christmas tree pretty Christmas tree and come down here and decorate it 
I don't think I'll cut it down by any means. A few of the trees will clear out for views, but not any pine. Love these dead wood, these dead trees make great uh, black and white photography in the moonlight. It's like uh, Krista, whenever I see something like that, I think of her because she can do wonders with photography because she gets it from her dad. He's an amazing photographer also. Like, look at that one right there. See here's a big flat area. I think some of these trees can be taken out if I wanted. But I think there's plenty of space to dodge them and park RVs or make a tent site or put up a volleyball court. Or maybe croquet. Here's the driveway. Right here. We'll walk out to the road. See all this area in here. It's all utilized. I'd like to get a uh, 40 foot container for storage and all that. Maybe make it into a shop or something. I don't know. Yesterday we were here and uh, checking it out. Saw one car go by. And uh, it was uh, just speeding by. And it was a FedEx delivery. And uh, apparently. Uh, I got to apply for an address. There's certain hoops you got to go through. You know, just they Google Earth it, and you got to give them the coordinates of the beginning to, and where your driveway comes in, a couple other things, and then they assign you an address, and you got to do that before you can get permits or uh, UPS or UPS and FedEx can deliver. Now you can't. Uh, mail delivery will not work because um, everybody in St. John's has a uh, P.O. box so you got to have it all delivered there well, let's go over here this is the property marker so there's four of these guys one at each corner So, I'm 183, and 184 is to the right, and 137 is behind us. So, if I went straight that way, it'd be base camp. Well, I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. Appreciate it. Hope you uh, got a little insight on... The property and the adventures that are going to happen. I don't know the time frame or anything like that, but I mean, I got plenty of time, plenty of space. So, need a few other things, plenty of, but they'll come in due time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's, it's uh, from here to town, going this way. It's like an hour, and that's uh, through dirt roads, first half of it, uh, oh, probably two thirds of it, and then it goes on to pavement, and you do that when it's rainy and it's been bad, because if you go this way, uh, it's a little quicker, it's about 44 minutes to uh, town, but it gets washed out, and we went it with John, he's got a big four-wheel drive pickup, and we made it fine, but... 
my Jeep would make it fine. But we're in Ron's little car, so we go that way. Anyways. See, there's a lot of flat area here. That's way, way away from the road. And as you can tell, it's pretty quiet out here. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side. What we have here is one of the community wells. Looks like we got a trail cam there. And it looks like uh, there's the water. Somebody left their keys. That's probably not too smart. Then you got the solar power. So, property owners only. I bet you they'll come back for their keys. Kind of interesting. <laughs>